All right, guys, going to do a little bit of an update on the crypto stuff today. Um, this is CoinMarketCap, which is sort of like the, the main source of information for the cryptos. Um, as I've said before, Bitcoin's not the only one. There's multiple ones in here. Um, as you can see, the markets are looking green today. I was expecting some price movement anyway, and I've been saying this. I'm expecting to head up in stages, which it is doing. I wouldn't say invest in today. I would expect that to actually go down on Monday <coughs> and then level off and then go up again. <coughs> I mean, if we take a look at Bitcoin, uh, let's open that up another video, a window. <coughs> it's, it's sort of doing this. It's not jumping. It's doing what it should be doing. Ethereum's going up, but Ethereum's got some issues at the moment. But at the same time, it's going to head to $700 in the near future, in my personal opinion. What you got here, I just want to take this over the next, last the month will do. What you've got here is you've seen, <coughs> these are the stages. I've, I mean, I've predicted these anyway. They, they've sort of gone like that, cross, up, cross, then you've got a dip, then up a bit, then cross, 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 then up a bit, across, and it'll go like that. It's, it's on a slow recovery. <coughs> Now the big problem you do get is a lot of people just look at that statistic and nothing else. <coughs> there's a lot more going on than that. Social media side, there's a lot of positive media out right now which is pushing this up. It's just, there is stuff going on like that. Institutions are starting to move into the market as well, which means more money is coming in, which means that stability is coming in. Regulation is occurring. Malta approved crypto uh, into its law system uh, this week as well. So there's a lot of stuff going on which is positive compared to Bitcoin's bad, don't invest in Bitcoin, warnings from the financial markets, blah, blah, blah. At the same time, even when they're doing that, they're still investing quietly. They're investing when the market's down. And this is what you're seeing, the recovery is on this way. Now, one of the things that has been overlooked a lot because there's been so much negative media, and we'll go over here to Knowles, is mainnet launches. A lot of crypto is an idea at the minute. A lot of them have not developed anything. No, a lot of them are nowhere near where Bitcoin is. A lot of them are still on the back of a piece of paper working out what they're doing. And yet they've raised millions of dollars. Now, this is where things start to get interesting. This is Knowles. Knowles is just about to launch their mainnet. The mainnet in the basic sense is the ability to transmit from A to B. So from, um, what's that, buyer to, buyer to sender or sender to buyer. Um, it depends what you're doing. But the, the, the point being is that transaction, it allows the building of the blockchain. It allows the beginning. And once you've got that, you can then build applications on top of it. And then you can build other stuff on top of it. And then you can get clients on top of it that are using it. <coughs> This is why these things are important. But because the media has been very, very negative for, I would say, January, um, a lot of people have ignored these launches. Now, one of the things I would say, be very careful of with nulls, this is why I don't give financial advice. You've got a price rise already. Look over the charts. It's had a dip and it's going up. I know exactly what the guys are doing. They're assuming that this peak and this peak is going to see a third peak here. So they're expecting this to head up towards above $6. And you'll see people already talked about this. I haven't even looked on it, but I know there will be. Because what they're doing is using previous history. But uh, as you can see, they're looking at that formation and matching it with this one. And then they're going to say, well, around here it's going to go up. <coughs> Am I going to agree or disagree with them? It's it's very difficult right now and the reason being is a lot of this mainnet stuff has been ignored and it's even stuff I talk with the guys in my trading group they say you you should short against it because people keep doing the reverse and the reason it's been like that is things like um, Mount Gox. Mount Gox was liquidated in Japan um, and basically the people in charge of liquidation as the Bitcoin market's been doing this began selling off around here because it's absorbing people's cash as it's going up. 
during the liquidation period. So they've been selling millions of dollars, hundreds of million dollars of Bitcoin when the market was supposed to go up. They just killed it because they were taking all the all the money as people were trying to push it up and just taking it out of the circulation for liquidation purposes. And that was going on um, from the end of last year um, through the start of this year until it got identified who was doing it. Because all these sort of predictions become useless. Because you're going, well the market's going to go here, so it's all investing on the way up from here to here. I'm going to sell around here or sell here. But they've already sold out here and crashed the whole thing. It doesn't go like that, it goes from here to here before you got a chance to sell out. Now you can see Mount Gox, you can see what was going on, that manipulation. That has now put some value on graphs these days, uh, back into it, because obviously it was an unknown. And this is the problem you get, is that sometimes there are unknowns in this. This is why I do not give financial advice, but I will quite happily share some of the information on this. Nulls also, the information is already out there. So you've got this problem. In four days, be sure to check out the company if you're based in China, da da da. They're gonna have a jump in price. You're thinking, yeah, that's guaranteed. No. Because the media is already out there, when did they start promoting it? Six days ago. So let's take it from July 4th, okay? Well, when did they, so that's 18th of December, June. So they start mentioning it around this sort of period, June, where are you? July 4th. As you can see, they, there was a bit of movement and now it's starting to go up a bit. So up until that point, it was on the downward spiral. And you've got to bear in mind this is affected by the market generally. Do not think that it's only nulls. Bitcoin price affects these things as well. Um, but with this, it does look... Yeah, I would say that you're going to get... What's the price on it currently? 245 so it's around there at the moment, 245. I would hazard a guess it may go to around $3, maybe just under $3. It may shoot way past it, but at the same time, this is where I sort of go, take the money and sell it. Um, because what happens is a lot of this stuff is bought on a rumor and sold on the news. So, but it looks like that hasn't happened here. It looks like it's already had to drop because this is like steady across here. But sometimes you'll see it suddenly does this. <clears throat> at that point, it may not be invested in at all because it's already at $3.95. So when you buy at $3.95, it'll drop to $3. <laughs> so please bear that in mind. These are the sort of things I look for. Um, but is it worth investing at $2.45? You're looking at maybe $3. It may go mental. Um, but I'm going to cover nulls in depth elsewhere. Um, but the point being is, I'm just giving you some of the stuff I look at myself. It's not so straightforward. It's just going buy Bitcoin, which, yeah, as you can see here, it's up two dollars sixty-seven. It's nearly at seven thousand dollars. Once I hit seven thousand dollars, it'll hit a new support level. It will go up above that. But bearing in mind, it's very likely to go from six eight to about six six, then to six seven then suddenly go up again. Um, that's that's how fluctuations happen. This is why people invest in this stuff because you get it on those retractions and make a profit. Um, so it is worth taking a look at. Neo, for example, is at $40. It was at 32. Um, I did tell people to take a look at it then as well. But even there, I see at 40, I would say there's a good chance it'll go to 36, 38 level across and then it'll be waiting for some good news to go back up but the thing with this is when they do get good news it can suddenly jump from 40 to 100. VE chain is one of the ones I've been investing in as well that's been stagnant this one should be flying by now but I mean if we go over let's see what news they've had this week they've just had their main net so they, these guys are the prime example of where things should actually be going up and nothing's happening um, social media what we got here 
Yeah, that about GDR. We begin to work with the world, but I'm not really interested. Yeah, that see GD this GDPR thing is a big thing all over the globe. Um, but at the same time, VA chain is focused more on corporates in the sense of anti counterfeiting, tobacco industry, alcohol industry. It's got a lot of clients, BMW are working with them in some form as well, so there's a lot of stuff going on. This is the one to watch though. Come and understand more about Ezo Apps development platform. This is one of our many videos to come. Well, I'm going to be looking at it myself because this is where you'll get the price jump. Keep an eye on this one if you're interested. Uh, Bitfinex is supporting this for VA Chain Thor, Mainnet Launch, and VET Token Swap for more details. Da, da, da. Okay, this is the one I'm going to. This is this app here is the important one for VA Chain at the moment because that's where people can build their stuff on top of the blockchain. The blockchain coming out itself, it's mainnet, that did nothing to um, VE chain's price at all, nothing. Um, but at the same time, this app could actually be a game changer. So that's that's one of the things to look at when you're looking at this stuff. Um, what else have I got to talk about today? I'm gonna leave it at that, because I know a lot of you guys heading into the crypto stuff, but I just wanted to show you the sort of stuff I analyze. Um, just so you can get a feel for it and as I said we'll not give you financial advice and there's a reason for that some people were trading with me last year and I told them stuff not to do and they did it anyway and I've got to admit 99% of people were fine because when they lost money they, it was because they did stuff they, didn't, they shouldn't have done and they were told not to do it and they did it anyway and then it's like you know like if I say always get your ROI, ROI out so if you put $100 in, something like $100 in, you get $100 back out. You do not double down. This is not gambling. <laughs> you do not double down. What you do is you build up a spread, like the equivalent of spread betting. When you get a good run, when I did Ann shares, I took Ann shares, I put $400 in, took, it got to $1,500. I took out the majority of the cash. I still now have over a thousand dollars in Ant shares because it went up when it became Neo, etc. But I then put some into um, another investment and that went up and then I cashed that one out completely. And then I started spreading across multiple investments and this is where I am now. I have a large portfolio of different investments but it all started with $400 because you will get days like this where that's like that and you will get days when that was like that. Where you turn around and go, have a quick look, has anything major changed? Am I expected to go up? No. Dump it. Let it go down and then buy it back again. Same with this one. It's gone down, maybe a good time to buy in, but as you can see, there's fluctuations on this. So it may in my case I may have actually set a sell price when that's actually up instead of down. Common sense. And that's the way to make money and slowly step up through the ranks. But as you can see here, Knowles is on a sweep, up 11%, but it could retract that because like I said, you buy on the rumors, sell on the news. And then we've got like a few days before the news hits that the main net's live and everything else, and it could fall flat in its face. Also bear in mind some of these may never actually achieve anything, but it doesn't mean you can't make a profit on it. Paraledger used to be at $1. So currently, uh, as you can see, it's at 27 cents. It's had a retraction. It does well in conferences because it's um, it's got a few things that it does that promotes well to the right industries, but it hasn't really produced anything. So the point being is, when do you invest? A day before the conference, and then dump it during the conference. Doesn't matter if you make two percent. It's two percent that you didn't have yesterday. Just watch for your trading fees though, because some of the trading fees are um, <coughs> can be as high as. Um, half a percent on some of them. Horrendous. But anyway, thanks for watching.